to prove in my opinion. Well, off to a great start. Rara gonna find the first kill onto what we've been saying, the best Omen NA. Nitro taking down on the pistol, and Hiko sending out the shock darts. Actually split some. One left, one right to find some chip damage, but no bodies yet to fall for Rice and Meatballs. And Ethan through the smoke, trying to play inside the dark cover, gets sniffed out. That is incredibly unfortunate, but a couple members with low HP. Paint shells to go out, and Akalop forced to take his leave. The little bouncing Bettys don't get the kill just yet. Eco gonna back his teammate up, and oh my goodness, back and forth. Busy Austin, a show, trying to close things out. Instead, steal on the lurk. We'll get it done, and it was looking scary for a second, but there's the 100 Thieves we know and love. Yeah, that was... Steel starting to hear a little bit of pressure on B in his turret now. Tips his hand. Playing the high ground though. Hopping from. Hopping to. Oh, there we go. The guns they bot start to come online. And how do you overwhelm the Ares with pistols? You just can't. Now, Baby J received a heal earlier in the round. Oh, man. This not not nightmare. very long for the, for the world. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. What do you like to see from Asuna? Nah, he just full sent that thing, bro. That is a tough pill to swallow that early in a round. If your rice people's on your first full buy, they're going to try to follow up anyway, though, on the quick take. But Nitro and company still in the area. They are getting pummeled. And Ethan was just straight rocking the ghost this whole time. And he gets a kill with it. It's been very discombobulated on this take, starting things off with the showstopper, paint shells to follow, and really everything being thrown at this squad, and the kills just continue to find their way through. The rifles continue to find their marks. And like you said, this is a round that it, it felt like it now online. Resurrection also available, so should Koala go down with the knives, Res to come on through, gets those knives back online, but... We what is going on? Yet. Rara, oh my goodness, walks through mid, easy peasy, and finds a 3k on the round, finally will get traded, but that duo that I was talking about, Dust, both the res and the blades oh. now off the board, and Makalop looking to follow. Yeah, he got spotted oh. though by Ethan, able to get the spam through there, and heal, still standing, wall blocking the four penetration towards defending spawn. Nitro catches death, and somehow, even with Rar's effort, it's all down to Davy J, and he is done. Ouch. Ooh. What a shot. Yeah, that's not innocent. Look away. Baby J finds a huge kill onto Austin, I believe, delivering his second death of the game as we find ourselves five rounds in. But Ethan's able to trade one back. Resurrection still online. Ethan nearing his. Only one pip away. And there it is. Takes away Rara's res. And now has his own online. Holding down the A site all by his lonesome. Hiko. Now looking to bring up the rear. With that owl drone. There's the resurrection. Onto the back online. He's going to be sent down. Makalov to find another. But Nitro bringing up the rear from the flank. Cutting everybody down. And Hiko. So what I will say is you can be a little tricky with the, the lockdown. Oh my goodness, you can't be tricky there. Ethan just popping the great there of the it's omen. Grounded. Death can be the first off the you board. Asuna holding it down eye. as he backs away. Resurrection to come on through. It's been quite some time mm. since we've seen that. And here we go, rice and meatballs. Starting to turn it on, lighting a fire. Now one player up due to the resurrection. They still have the alt on the table. But as you said, that Venn diagram Quite possibly on the table as well. Makalov finds a revenge kill on Hiko. The counterpart down, and this is looking pretty dire. As I say it, though, Nitro once more on the flank. Looking to bring up the rear, trying to collapse completely on this squad. See with the operator in hand, but Nitro still going to work. The rest of the squad dying around him. But he's trying to get it done. Dodges out on the recon bolt. And in a 1v2, has a smoke available. Paranoia and Shrouded Step also on the table should he choose to use it. Def playing the high ground. Makalov out towards stairs. Def going to be spotted. Drops on down. Now doesn't have the angle. Nitro finds three. Makalov might just go for the spray. Nitro sticks it just as oh. well as he can. But Makalov matches 3k for 3k. And Rice and Meatballs now. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't necessarily clear out towards yellow. So they have some room to play with. Makalov looking for the lockdown. Finds a kill on top of it. Steel hanging out for just a bit too long. He's going to be shredded. Nico looking to do the same. Couple of shock darts finding quite a bit of damage. Austin with the showstopper once more. And the rifle on the back end. The zoomer getting it done. The lockdown going to be used in response. And Makalov feeling himself with another. Another 3k, 6 kills 
in the last two rounds. The spike yet to get planted. It'll spike. finally go down. The 2v2 Adios. retake. Nitro and Ethan, the players that have been swapping back and forth the roles, now need to work together to find the kills. Nitro gonna swing out from Snowman, quite possibly gonna be spotted by Makloff and Ace on the horizon. Ethan inside the tube, no wall, no res. Not a whole lot working in favor. Picks up the first, you see the fragging oh. power, but the ace comes through. Makalov with the flick to get it done. See? And Steel had an Odin, an Operator, an Ares to set up all of it all. What Steel is that turret made of? Able to land a Jaya somehow, some way that turret was staying alive for a bit too long. And Kualanu <laughs> able to trade back a kill. All said and done, tell before so. It was crushing his timings on his shots, and it actually caused Qualadun to be able to close distance and actually get the trade back there. So it's now four on four, spike likely to go down. Ethan Ooh. and Asunada, maybe not going to let that happen. Completely denying that, and Hiko doing the same. Ooh, Qualadun going up top, low on HP will eventually fall, and Maklov will get that spike plant, but maybe only some credits for his worries. Nitro on the next round. Rice and Meatballs trying to battle for an eight to four round as Qualadun. Baby J able to get things started off pretty well. And because of that resurrection in the last round, it won't be available on the rifle for Rice and Meatball. So Hunter Thieves, that's against the wall. And Austin, oh, no way, somehow, no way he gets that done. Now he's got the showstopper online. He's got a couple targets acquired. Tosses it out no. and gets a double kill with it. Austin is an actual madman. And who better? It's a 1v2. It's Hiko. He can absolutely get this clutch down. He's looking to just stick it back. 400 Thieves looking to play defense. And Kuala Noob on this jump up position. Able to stay alive for a moment. Bra are going to find a kill on to Ethan. The off shot's going to continue to go wide for Steel. And Death will sit him down. Now Hiko makes his way onto the site. Trying to do some damage and buy some time. But 100 Thieves on the back foot. A player down. And Kuala Noob looking to find the angles with the daggers. Cuts it down to two. Make it one. Says Nice okay. way to battle back, though. Try and steal away some of that momentum that Rice and Meatballs may have been picking up. Cutting down two members and a heal onto a teammate. Keep everybody nice and healthy. Def, though, finds that one onto the Sage. No longer going to have that utility or the spike plant. And Steel creeps on up towards the site. This isn't necessarily a free site. Could be in a bit of trouble. We're now cut down to a 2v3 and Steel. 32 health. No way to heal. And Makalov still alive. Multi-kill Maka. Quite possibly could be the thing to turn this round upside down. As I say that though, Nitro <laughs> with the lurk once more. And I mean, what Nitro is just always been a beautiful there with the boom bot to stop any board aggression through tube. And guess what? Smokes out through kitchen. You gotta be wary. It's Austin on top of oh! the Able to change positions and cut down two. Now two for two is the trade. But Asuna, a whole lot worse for wear with only 30 HP to his name. Man, indeed, the Sage is the one off the board, too, so no ability to heal Asana back up. As we're going to see how this 3 plays out, a little bit of a bait and switch possible here between Death and Koala, who has Koala tucked into the corner. It looks like one of these do want to test the waters here of this long B position. I like that they were trying to challenge mid early. It almost worked out well for them. They had a great double entry, but they quickly responded. Koala gets caught, though. Death does respond, but Asuna on for the ace. And it's. It's the 30 HP, Asuna, mind you, still finding two kills, is going to toss out the ultimate and not find a whole lot, unfortunately, but with that info, they spot the kill, they say, hey, let's just go away. There's no reason to try and play this out like this. Asuna is going to get caught out eventually and taken down. It's having that. Oh my goodness, baby, Jay. Asuna. Head on a swivel, push onto the side. Baby J trying to hold it down and, and doing a pretty good job in doing so with those nano swarms, slowing down the push for just a moment. That barrier orb gonna be used. Asuna now taken Fire off the board. Maybe I hyped him up a bit too much coming into this attack because he was the first one to fall. No resurrection online. On the opposite end of thing, lockdowns mirrored. There it is. There's a Venn diagram for it, <laughs> and there's really nothing to stop either of these. Yeah, this is wild. And which one are you in? It's hard to tell which one you're in as Def just continues to go aggressive. Nobody detained uh -oh. on the defenders, but the attackers, Hunter Thieves, are able to lock down two. Koala Noob not being one of them, so two of three. 
finding a kill. It's all up to Hiko to try and clutch things out. One shot start to go on through. Very close. Oh. Out his head. Oh, my oh. goodness. The shot's not even be on target. The Hunter's carry oh. to find the kill on to Maka. Now looking for depth, but they surely have zero time. The spike oh, to blow. They, they just like they're outclassing Rice and Meatballs, yeah. if we're honest. I mean, I don't, I don't mean that in any type of negative way, but I mean, what can you say? Look at the scoreboard. Look at the kill feed. The bottom fragger of 100T is tied with the top frag. And Nitro going for something a little spicy, not something that you yeah. see all the time. Alting actually inside of that kitchen hallway. Ethan right there to back him up. Hunter Fury to be used. Not going to find anything just yet. Kind of deny the plant. Ethan pops up, tries to jump over that one, and unfortunately nobody to be tagged. And there's Nitro with the positioning that we talked about. Jinx another after finding a kill, and he's going to be closed out by Austin. But now Def has to worry about where this raise is playing. Doesn't really have a way out there. Nice recon bolt. It is going to be shot down, and it is assumed that the raise is still there. But a 2v2 and a very winnable round for Rice and Meatballs to stay on the board. Ethan. Be first to contact Ooh. with the flick finds Makalov now depth the last one standing Shadow. and he's so tied up with Asuna he has absolutely no way in he finally with just about zero time he's gonna push into that smoke and he wasn't even ready for it yeah Def had no idea somehow I thought he was making plenty of noise but Def was also worried about getting pushed from short now it's a great reaction from Hunter T to feel that pressure long B and say all right we're gonna give it to you somewhere else we're gonna absorb that pressure we're gonna bounce back and oh my god God, Ethan. And, and this a, jump up spot has been a nuisance on both days we've seen players make plays here. Yeah, and that wall gives them like basically a headshot angle, right? I mean, they can't, they have to hit the dome. That's all they can do. Here. And, and he can crouch underneath it for That's cover and it's pistol round. There's absolutely no way to cut it down. Maclaw though. They are starting to cut down the numbers. Koala Noob, unfortunately, on very low HP. is going to be the one to try and take the fight, but he will sit him down and force to stick it. I don't know if Maklov even got it halfway. It doesn't. Ma Rice and Meatballs need to get the best out of this one, but because of the awkward buys that 100 Thieves bring into the bonus, it's not necessarily a given round. Rara's able to find the first, but Asuna with that Phantom from the previous round trades it right back. Rara picks up another being a nuisance and living up to what Raina can get done. Three on the round. Devour to try and heal up in the rest of the squad with the backup from downtown. Able to find that one onto Asuna. A huge way to get your two back in the swing of things and try and tie things up. But as wow. I say, two quick kills. Swing things back in favor of 100 Thieves. And there's the Empress now online. Cam, though, getting so much tells on who's coming where on the side. They read Koala Noob's flank already inside Hookah. Hiko's in perfect position to handle it here. Does get wiped, though. Ethan found Rar in the meantime, so Empress down, and 100T still have man advantage. They've now port the spike over to A, making this retake tough on Rice and Meatballs. Jet is still so out of place. No more meddling. Def going in solo, though, and making it happen. Finds a you big kill. kill my ally. Big res, though. Huge res. Yeah, again, Hunter Thieves just continue to swing it back in favor. The wall, though, a, a bit misplaced. They're forced to shoot that one down. Now, Death stuck inside the cyber cage. Spot steel hopping on up. The blade's now coming from behind. The right click, no, a left click to the head. Koala Noob able to find a couple, and they get it done. A huge clutch for Rice and Meatball. Absolutely. You thought a hunter. They'll need to reclaim a lead. Big rounds to win, and now we see Maka popping off the Hunter's Fury. Hiko already gone now. Baby J and Koala cleaning up the rest thus far, up short and long, and Nitro left solo with the Sheriff. Lots of time, but not many opportunities. He's gonna get away. Rara's still here, though, to stop him from trying to sneak the spike in. Now he's being flanked. It's all over. That's for sure. As Rice and Meatballs, with Hunter's fear to get the entry. And they're getting some tags. They're not finding the frag just yet, but there it is now. And Austin using the showstopper to get full U-Haul control. And able to trade out a kill. That's the best you could hope for there. Def is able to take it down, so stunts a little bit of the attacking pressure. 100 Thieves. And Nitro able to find another now. The last two standing, and they're both on the flank. It's the duelist. No, it's just Rara. Has it a dismiss? Has it a devour, but needs to find a kill. Not able to do so. All kinds of different tactics against you. They're one of the most diverse teams in NA when it comes to the strategy, but. As I say, that Koala hits a nasty dip at the Operator. And Rara gets dinked, but trades the kill back. The main shells go through, but they're going to go wide on it. Now Hiko and Ethan 
You do something heroic. It's heroics matched by heroics thus far in this game. And a 3v2 Koala Noob with the Blades back online. Blade Storm usually means pretty good things for this jet. Hiko gets run down, caught with his bow out, and Makalov gonna take down the imposter. Ethan needs to do the impossible here in a 1v3 against the Blades. Quite possibly now gets oh, oh, smart. Oh my goodness, Ethan with the tag on Baby J. What a <gasps> shot! They think he has... Oh, no, they just found the spike. I thought maybe they assumed he had picked it up and poured it, and that maybe could have given him the jump, but they actually did push through, and now they know. Slows things down, though. Steel has since made his way into pocket, and they're outside the showers. Rara looking to go to work. Unfortunately, not going to find too much just yet. Asuna looking to swing on through. Spots out one. Nice little flick, but Maklop is there to trade it. So even across the board in that body, in a tough spot for the resurrection. Ethan, not even close to try and get that done. Rara looking for a bit of U-Haul control. 2v2 on the horizon. Steel picks it up on the Koala Noob. What a shot. And they have no clue that Nitro is even here. There's so many variables to worry about on the retake. He double takes to exactly find the kill and Rara backs away. Neural theft for the information, but the flank is coming through. Steel completely disrespects it. Not even looking that way. Neural theft for Neural theft. The kill's going back and forth. It's a 2v2. Who's going to take the round? Rice and meatballs have to find the defuse right here, right now. Maklov needs to go huge. Finds one through the box, but running out of time. Hiko does it again. Six man on the roster for 100 feet. Sure, the Fury from Hiko gets a bit of information, a bit of damage. Can they find some more? Unfortunately, not in depth. With the Bucky, only good for a couple bits of damage. Rara, though, starting to pop off. Ethan has since derailed that train. No devour, no dismiss available to try and escape. Now Ethan plays inside the cyber cage, and the remaining two aren't on the site just yet. It's going to be another collapse. It's going to be another 2v3 situation, but this time it's Baby J and Koala Noob. Not mm. deaf, and we'll see if they have the same results. Based on their low economy, they might just back off and save the Phantoms, honestly. I don't know what their loss bonus is, but okay. Koala gets a big kill, gets it back into a two-on-two. Looking for some more. Nico just trying to play around the corner. Ethan you finds one through the wall. Resurrection going to be queued up. And now they're just trying to secure the round as Baby J goes for the blast packs up through short. Going to clear out U-Haul. Working as a miniature lockdown trying to clear out the site. But two members still on it. And Baby J being one of them. Being a nuisance. Now they have the information. Playing inside the smoke again is death. And they don't read it in time. Two quick kills coming on over as Ethan looks to get that spike plant down. It is going to come on through. Still no resurrection. Online of Baby J on the flank. Ethan sniffs it out, pulling out his rifle and finds the head. Now with 3v3, but the Empress online. This could be a huge round for Rara, who has since brought up the rear all the way back through and linked up with the squad. 3v3 retake for the last round of the half. Whatever you've got, you just have to send it. I'm going to spot out one, seven rounds in the magazine. There's a couple of quick kills, and it's all up to Austin to try and close things out. But Koala Noob with the flick will also be rewarded with the defuse. His impact frags really turn things around now on the defensive end. Oh. Through the smoke, they're able to get one. Koala Noob trying to okay. back away a huge oh. recon bolt for oh the information. My. And 100 Thieves aren't happy about 6-6 six to six at the half. They're Taking quickly out. trying to regain oh. the lead. And Hiko is helping out. Oh my god, they are absolutely steamrolling him. The, oh. the shock dart literally hits him in the face. Doesn't matter because the pistols are superior from 100T, at least so far. Death trying to see if he can change that, but they're just... Oh, okay, nice little fadeaway. But there's just too many people left. I mean, yeah. eventually he's just going to get right and cut it down, but... That's Steel the knows. They've heard a lot of different guns popping off here at Octagon area. Ooh, I think Ethan got into position without the drone spotting it. He might be able to surprise. Oh, uh, the rear. oh my goodness, he still finds one in Hiko. Able to top off a kill with a shock dart. Ethan still alive, still in the corner. Now healing up with that healing orb of his own. And this round quickly fell apart for Rice and Meatballs. They still have two standing, but they are not very healthy. Less than 50 HP for both. Death is going to be run down. Ethan's still alive. Nice little upgrade from the Bucky. It's a flawless round as they swap weapons back. And 100 Thieves back. Mm.
spot out Hiko here. They're trying to put the pressure up short. Nitro with the perfect counter and the Hunter's Fury to follow it up along the Paranoia. It's putting so much pressure and the guns are coming out as well. There they are. And I mean, the same exact setup over towards a short pushing through the cyber cage. Asuna with the paint shells. This time they lose a member. So not three in a row, but still need challenges one. I mean, you get two chances to be in the top four of a challenge event to get to that regional final. Nowhere to run. Last, next open qualifier is only four spots available, man. A tough road. A very tough road, but things getting a bit easier for Rice and Meatballs to take Ethan off the board. Nasuna now trapped inside the teleporter, not able to get the same value he once was in that last round. Deploying drone. Go looking to deploy the drone. Maybe get some information. Tech going out. One from the spy cam, one from the drone, but Rara up close and personal. The Empress online is able to dismiss. Back behind Hiko outside the smoke, but Hiko's still able to get it. Oh, and the spike! spike. They can just sit on top of it, but they have a handful of angles to worry about. It's Hiko, it's Nitro. Trying to clutch things out. Nice little paranoia to try and buy some space. Maka and Jack gonna push on through. Nice little two-man swing. And on the opposite side, Hiko meets two as well. Coming a bit more appetizing, perhaps, as they really handle a very stressful situation. You're losing to the clock. You have to make a move. 100 Ds are constantly throwing little daggers at you, knowing that all it's gonna take is to fumble that spike once and you might be done for but down but a resurrection to come on through and that is a huge red hundred teams back in the driver's seat when it comes oh. to player power no that one out I baby they trying to come on through the bathrooms but no entry for you def now trying to make plays on the site, very comfortable there. Maxlop going so aggressive towards the back halls, trying to stop the rotators, but it's all up to Wall Noob and 7HP.